Good morning. <laughs> so it's currently minus three degrees and the MG doesn't like minus three degrees. So I've had to put that in the garage and bring the Range Rover out here, which means I've had to stop working on the suspension for now. But it gives me a chance to fix one of the other Range Rover problems. Should be quite a simple one. So the car thinks that the bonnet is open all the time, uh, which it isn't. Now, I don't know if that's going to cause other issues, like with the air suspension. If something's open, like a door or a bonnet, does it not like raise the car? I don't know. But it's a problem. And it comes up with... Uh, woo! So it comes up with lots of faults, lots of problems, blah, 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 blah. One of them is bonnet is open. So I suspect the bonnet catch has failed or something in the wiring has, has gone a bit wrong. So I'm going to pop the hood. Now there's two bonnet latches on the Range Rover, uh, one on the left, one on the right, uh, just here and just there. But only one of them has the actual uh, micro switch on it that tells the car when the bonnet is open and closed. Uh, and it, as you face the front of the Range Rover, it's on the left hand side in the UK driver's side. So I need to get at this and sort of have a look at this and take it apart. And to do that, I need to get the grill off. Now I think just to do that, I think you just give it a good tug. So maybe not. Now there are some latches on the top which you need to disengage first. Now, I think you have to be a bit forceful with it, but not too forceful. <laughs> it's just, 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 it probably is a technique to this. Come off, you bastard. Right, uh, right. right, with the grill off, we can kind of see a bit more of what's going on. Here's one. The cable comes in from the uh, the cabin along here through this first latch and then the cable continues to the second latch and on the bottom of the second latch there's a bit of a clip and that is where the microprocessor is clipped into this around the back here is a cable that goes onto that so i think what i'm going to try and do is disconnect the cable unbolt this lift that up so i can get that off and take a closer look so just around the back here, it's really difficult to see down here, but that, that's the connector. I've managed to get that off. And it's just, just down here at the back of this. It just pulls back. So that's off. So I just need to unbolt the front. Right, so it looks like there's just two uh, screws here and it's a T30 Torx that I'm using. And I've got it on a bit of an extension just to clear the headlight. Um, yeah. There's a bit of a back plate here. I don't remember which way that goes. So now you can kind of see where that, that connector goes onto. And the cable comes in here. It looks like it looks like I might be able to get the the micro switch off the bottom without removing any more of this, uh, which is good. In fact. There's a tab here and here. Yeah. There we go. Bollocks. So there's a the micro switch. Now I've been and picked up a new one of these off of eBay. I'm going to swap this out. Ah, right. Okay, what I thought I ordered was the micro switch. They've, I've actually got the entire unit. Now, it's going to be quite a faff, I think, to take this off, is it? Oh, God. Didn't think I was going to have to replace all of this. How does that come out of there? Oh, 
Oh, easy enough actually. Seems to that seems to be in there. So the micro switch is there. I'm going to connect that via the back. Ugh. This is really fiddly, but I just need to connect that back up. Right, I think that is engaged. So, test number one, shut the bonnet. Hope this all shuts okay. That's okay. So, I just need to put the grill back, and then I'll see if the fault has gone inside. I should probably do that the other way around. So I'll do it the other way around, yeah. Ugh. So I shouldn't see the fault. I shouldn't see... I shouldn't see... Come on. I'm not seeing a bonnet open. Driver's door's open. I will call that a success. So all I need to do now is put the grill back on. So the grill just pushes back in and apart from these tabs that are along the top, there's like a little bit of a, there's a couple of tabs at the bottom which go in just here and here. And then we've got these roundy bits which go a bit further up here, I think. So once you line it all up, I think it just pushes into place. There we go. So that was a relatively straightforward and simple fix, which is nice because the other problems on this car are far more involved such as the air suspension. I have, I think I'm narrowing down where the problem is. I think it's towards the back of the, the air suspension system. I've ruled a lot out, I've tested a lot of the lines and so on and so forth. Uh, so do stay tuned for that in an upcoming episode. But for now, stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>